Yeah, I know, mate. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm here now. I'm here. I'm here. I thought he'd be there. Yeah, I know he's not good. I know he's not good. I know he's not good. No, I'll sort it out. I wonder if he's all right. Maybe he's, I don't know, maybe he's been taken ill. I don't know. I'm just making excuses. Let me go and find him and I'll ring you back. But he's got to be somewhere, mate. I'll get him up to you as soon as possible. What the f are you doing, you fing idiot? <laughs> Get a fing rosy what man! What the f are you doing? Fing, what's the start of fing 8am? It's 11 o'clock. 11am. 7.30am, you were eating him. You fing waster. What the f is all this? Fuck hey. you. Fuck me, show. Fuck James Elder. Slob. What was I thinking going out last night? Oh, I'm in a bad way. I bet Carl ain't gonna be pleased with me missing the session this morning either. All right, composure, let's go. Fucking hell. Sorry, Carl. Mate. What time's this? What do you call it? I'm hearing you've been out on the fucking piss. You've got pre-season training today. You're turning up. You're looking a fucking mess. What, what, do, you, what do you think you're playing at? Sorry, Carl. Rubble. What do you mean, fucking sorry? Well, I didn't realise it was going to be. I, I explained to you yesterday when we went through everything what pre-season was about. Yeah. About being professional. About eating right, living right. You've been out on the fucking piss and look at the fucking state of you. Sorry, Colin. I didn't realise it was going to be as intense. I thought like a couple of beers. We can be explain much. that to you. Yeah. We explain that to you. No, you sorry, was giving man. it all that yesterday about eight and a half, this, six and a half, this. You fucking zero at the moment. No, I'm sorry, Colin, mate. I'll make a bit more of an effort, you know what I mean? You fucking going to have to. I'm, I'm telling you now. I'll make more of an effort. Well, you fucked it up now, so we're going to do this bleep test fucking uphill. Uphill? Up fucking hill. Do you think that? Do you think professionals are out the night before a game, the night before training, pre-season? No fucking chance. They're in bed, they're relaxing, resting. I said to you last night, I sent you a text. I said, Ron would say, fucking get your rest. Tomorrow's a fucking work day. Yeah. No, you did text me, mate. Yeah, sorry, Colin. I'll put a bit more effort in for this session, all right? Fuck you now. Colin, I've got one thing. My, my toes hurt me a little bit. Fuck off! No, seriously. Would I be would I be all right to do this in in not in my boots maybe in my trainers or in barefoot? Are you taking a piece? No, genuine question. So what's happened with your toe? You fucking hurt it last night while you were out in the fucking. Nah, it's been playing me up for a little bit. Well, we never fair. fucking heard that yesterday. Was that your excuse for missing the fucking board? No. Because your technical fucking stuff look look like you got a fucking broken toe. So should I leave the boots then and just? Yes. Just come. Give me one minute. I'm just gonna get a drink and we'll get oh. started. Thanks, Colton. Twenty minutes later. First, where what, we going what have first? you got? Fucking there. Get your fucking phones off. You fucking hell. Let's get ready to fucking work. I've had enough of it? fucking this. Hey. All right. All right. Where are we starting? Who the f do you think you are, running in socks? Are you puffing already? Fatality. You're right. Out on the piss. Look, Rich, just, no, Rich. I know what you're saying, I know what you're saying, but let's say that we're in a boxing match and there's 12 rounds in there. This is just like first round. It's just going to be a slow burn. Hey, I'm Rich, I'm not being funny. I'm not, I'm not being funny, Rich. We haven't even got to the first round. We're still in the dressing room warming I know, up. I know what you're saying, I know what you're saying. Look, I know he's a bit of a blamange. What if, what if we said another 500 quid? It's not about the money. Uh, it's not about the money. I want, I want him to understand the importance of our time and his time about being professional in what he's doing. 1,200 quid? 1,200, done. Mate. Let's go. <coughs> James, come on, mate. This is your time to shine now. Thanks, Carlton. I'm really sorry, mate. This is your I, last I chance. This is your today. last chance. You've got, hard, you've, got, you've, got to, you've got to now, you've got to now start putting the effort in. 
you know, trying to do it right. I thought I put Lit quite a lot of effort in there, Colin. Really? Bit of effort. Really? This ain't, this ain't water, do you know what I mean? I'm trying. I know it's, it's No, that's hot. just the ale coming out of you from last night. Possibly. Yeah. Possibly, to be fair. Yeah. No, you've got to. You've got to start, right? I mean, you complain about your toes, your back, your groins. Yeah. We've only done one, one day of training. Yeah. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do some static exercises, some squat thrusts and some push-ups. Love that. Right? Yeah. Yes, I suppose you're about a Thanks. nine out of ten on the push-ups, aren't you? I won't go too high on the numbers now. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, well, like yeah, 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 yeah. All right. All right. What's those? Star jumps. Come on, pick it up, pick it up. Come on, come on. At least that's better. At least you're trying. At least you're putting a bit of effort in. Come on, pick it up, pick it up. Come on, come on, pick that tempo up. That's much better, that's much better. Much better, come on, keep it going, keep it going, come on, keep it going. Well done, well done, come on, keep it going, come on, come on, keep that going, keep that going. Okay, James, now we're gonna go into push-ups, right? Make sure you extend your elbows all the way out, all the way in, chest to the ground, okay? Okay, yeah. okay are you ready? Come on, maximum effort, let's go. Come on, down you go. One, okay, keep that going. Is that my phone? I'll just go and check. Oh, it's not my phone. What are you stopping for? That's what I'm on about, come on. Get them down, come on. Extra 10 now, come on, pump them out. Come on. Come on, as soon as I turn me back, that's what I'm on about being professional. This is about you wanting to get fit. Come on. Look at you, you're breathing out everybody's bell end, aren't you? Come on. Look at you. It's tough. You'll have to get to bed early it's tonight to and tomorrow me, we've got to see much more from you. Much more. Brutality. Completely done it. Completely done it. We've not even been out here for an hour. Oh, Completely, CP, this is killing, done it. Mate. Completely done it. Completely done it. Poxon told me this was going to be like ball work, a little bit of fun with CP. Well, seeing how your ball work was. This ain't fun, is it? It's not fun getting fit. It's not supposed to be fun. Okay, James, you know about how to do lunges, don't you? Right? Just only one, just to make no, sure. Knee to the ground, so you're down, knee comes all the way to the ground, okay. and then push up and go to the next one. Sweet. So you know that, get your knee to the ground, yep. extend as far as you can, and keep it going. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. Knee down. All the way down to the grass. Come on, all the way down. Come on, mate, I'm not being funny. This is really hurting my toe. This is really rub it's rubbing, the grass is rubbing against are my you, toe. Are you, are you for real? Oh. Are you for real? Not you honestly. couldn't put your trainers on. You couldn't put your boots on. You couldn't do the running. Oh. You couldn't do the push-ups. You it's couldn't do the star oh, jumps. And so now you hurting. can't do lunging. You're complaining about your feet. Oh. Unbelievable. That might be because you've got nothing on your feet. Oh, it's really hurting. Oh, me. my God. I'll tell you what, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm not even going to call him back today. I think he's being too harsh on me, lads. I really do. <sighs> to be honest, I think I've actually done all right. He's, he's getting too serious. Like We're meant to be here having, doing a few drills, holding up a few flags and a few scarves. All of a sudden, I'm training for the Qatar World Cup. Do you know what I mean? Colin! Colin! That's our first pre-season session done. Being honest, I didn't do very well, did I? Well, listen, maybe I've been a bit hard on you. You've never done this before, mm. um, but I did impress upon you how tough it was going to be. You did. And how serious it is. So bearing all that in mind, you know, we've made a start mm. and shall we say there's room for improvement. I hear that, I hear that. I don't think it dealt me with the heat a little bit though today. If I'm not making excuses, I've not made a lot of excuses over the last few days, but I don't think the heat no, was the heat doesn't help, particularly but helpful. The heat doesn't help, but trust me, in pre-season, the first day you head back pre-season, remember pre-season is done in July. Yeah. The end of June and July, it is hot. When the season kicks off in August, it is hot. So at the end of the day, this is, these are the conditions you have to, to deal with. Yeah, but, we, it, but it doesn't help if you're going to go out and drink the night before. Yeah, I wanted to try and see it from a point of a player that 
would have gone out, particularly yeah. your day. A lot of the players would have gone out. So I wanted yeah. to see how they would experience that and how that would be. I've got to say, I found that really tough. I found it really hard on no, the well back I, of the Well, I've, do, I've done that before. I've done it once before, uh, before a game. Um, I, I was lucky in terms of I was a, an extremely fit person. Mm. But even mm. during mm. the game, mm. I found it really, really hard. Um, and, and it's not something that you can do. It's actually dangerous. To go out and drink and train after is it's actually dangerous. I can well believe it. Yeah. Now, we've done the beep test today. How important would that be in pre-season, in fitness? How much would the manager gauge from them beep test results on the players? Yeah, well, normally you do it, normally you do, you do it at the start of pre-season to gauge where the, where the players' fitnesses are. Mm. And then you'd probably do it uh, mid-season and then at the end of the pre-season so you can gauge where they are. You know the levels you want your players at. You know, the, goal, mm. the goalkeepers aren't going to get to level six, 16. You'd want your midfield players to go a bit further. You know your centre-halves are not going to go as far. You know, so you know the levels that you want the players to hit. By the end of pre-season, you want those players to have hit the targets that you've set for them. Pre-season must be difficult and easy for all different types of players. No doubt you were quite a fit player. You would have found it sometimes easier. No, no, no. Some of the boys would have really struggled with no, the pre-season. No, I never found it easy because Really? Because no, I never found it easy because you're always pushing yourself to your level. To get to your level, your maximum level, so you can be at your fittest. If it's easy pre-season, then you aren't maxing out. And they can tell now, because now Everybody wears art monitors, they put the vest on there. Good point. So they can tell whether you, you know, normally your heart rate, your maximum heart rate is 220 minus your age. Mm. So they can tell whether you're maxing out to your effort. They can do that now. So you can't cheat. Mm. So you've got to put yourself. So pre season was never, even though I was as fit as what I was, even though I came back in good shape, it was never easy for me because it was all about going to the next level. Which one of your teammates, if you had to put like a top three of people that, you know are going to have it hard in pre-season or going to, going to maybe indulge a little bit in the summer or not come back in the fittest shape. Who, who would they be out of all no, your but, teammates? But, 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 but running's not for everybody and I get that. Mm. So as long as people max out at what they're doing, they get to that level of fitness, right, and they're ready to go at the start of the season, that's okay. Um, I've been quite lucky at all the clubs I've been at. Yes, people have struggled. Erste didn't particularly like running, uh, the long distance stuff. But over 100 metres, you're not going to beat him. It, it was about him getting to his level of his fitness. And once he got to that level, right, then what his strength was about, strength, pace and power over 100 metres. So it was just about him putting him through that, um, himself through that uncomfort zone to get to the level where he had. I've been very lucky at the clubs that I've been at that, you know, we haven't had players who've ducked out of pre-season. You know, Tony Yeboah, tremendous, another great goal scorer, but not a great runner. Didn't like the running, but but knew it was a necessity to get fit. Mm -hmm. Now, when we look at the games, the amount of games the players are playing across all levels, not just in the Premier League. I'm talking the Championship, League One, League Two. There's so many matches now. How important is it that you are in peak condition for the start of the season? That you've got your pre-season absolutely bang on. It's it's it's, it's vital. If you don't, you won't be able to play the games. The one thing is for sure, you're going to pick up injuries. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and if you do not have a good pre-season, right, then there's, there, there's no chance you can get through the season because you can never get that period. You, you never have that time, that six, seven week period to get that time, to get that level of fitness back. Mm -hmm. you, you, you just don't have it. So what it means, as you've seen with players who are not fit, they miss large chunks of the season to try and get that fitness back. Mm -hmm. I hear that. How long would it take you from going into pre-season to then when you know you've hit, you're hitting optimal level of your fitness? For me personally? Yes. Um, I would say with the way I came back uh, three to four weeks into pre-season training and, and like at Leeds United, we, we had an exceptionally fit squad. I would, would then say, right boys, three or four days off this week and start tapering it down because you don't want to go too far and then the boys start picking up injuries. So, yeah, for me, three or four weeks in solid training, morning and afternoon, I'd have hit my level because I've come back in, in the right shape already. Was Howard Wilkins quite a stiffler for pre-season training? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, all, all the managers I've, I've played for were, were tough on that because everybody understands the importance of pre-season training. It is vital. Mm. It is vital. There, there is no two ways about it. Mm. I've got to say, I've enjoyed learning, watching, gauging and getting absolutely bollocked by you for the last couple of days. 
I know I'm not at the elite optimal level that I should be at for myself. So I'm going to put in a little bit more effort over the next few weeks and see where we're going to go at. It is, isn't it? It is, it's a tough slog, isn't it? Let's be honest. It's not easy. And this, it's is, not, what, it's not and easy. this is what we've got to get over to the people. Yeah. That when they're sitting at home and thinking, you know, being a professional footballer is easy and, you know, players are getting tired, it's easy. It's just not easy. It's hard work. And this is, this is the <coughs> basis of your season of how you're going to play and how you're going to do and to avoid injuries. Mm, no, it's definitely been hard. We've not long finished training. I'm sitting here now and I'm still feeling my heart racing. I'm still feeling a little bit uneasy and unbalanced in my body, in my sort of my acids and stuff. So, um, yeah, I've earned a lot more respect and a lot more appreciation for the pre-season, I've got to say, can't we? Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Well, 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 we'll see. We've got a few more weeks to go mm -hmm. and we'll see how we can improve you and get you to that level. And if you live the life, you will definitely get to that level. Spot on. Spot on. All right. Thank you very much. Well done. Thank you, Well mate. done, boss. Love that. Let's go. I should be like you, Mel.